Hello Taurus, here's a reading for you for the reminder of January 2018. The cards are already laid out because I was doing the reading in Polish. So I already know what's going on. I'm using beautiful uh, Byzantine tarot deck, Byzantine tarot. Let's begin. Uh, at the center of your reading, representing you, we have Page of Cups. I read it as a very innocent and pure energy of the open heart. Perhaps something mm, very interesting is happening to you and you don't yet know how to cope with it because uh, Page of Cups is usually very surprised by the contents of his or her cup. I have this energy of absolute beginner here. Innocent, pure, joyous, ready to explore. Still a beginner in life. Major outer energy is six of coins. Um, this uh, card for me is about abundance. It says there is enough for everyone. So it's also about uh, the balance between giving and taking and about the fact that when you give, it's coming back to you. And when you take, you have uh, plenty to give give from. So it's important important to maintain balance. But you, you see here, there's plenty, there's enough for everyone. You don't need to worry about things. Okay. And this is coming from outside. So perhaps it's required of you or someone has this uh, beautiful approach towards you sharing things. You have plenty of pentacles in your reading, by the way. What's coming to the past or, or what brought you to this is the tower energy and tower is always about expansion. I don't want you to be afraid of this card, although it looks very uh, scary, especially this giant serpent that reminds me of the serpent from Harry Potter. But um, as I said, tower is about expansion, about expanding your life. Sometimes uh, it indicates that something very groundbreaking happened and it may be not uh, very uh, nice and pleasant energy because it usually surprises us uh, but still there is a new ground to build on there's new uh, material to build from okay so uh, perhaps this newly discovered cup is something that is coming from the tower energy. What's your weakness or your challenge? It's a page of coins and it's a it, it's a different energy from the page of cups. You have two pages here. It may be your energy or it may be someone else uh, being very mater materialistic, I would say. There's something very materialistic about it. So you may have difficulties if you're in this mood, very uh, like... Uh, I, d I don't know how to say it, spiritual, being very much in touch with your emotions and being overwhelmed perhaps by them. You can have difficulties with this materialistic approach to life, whether it's yours or it's someone else's. He's holding his coin very close. I don't think he, 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 he wants to share. He looks like he's, you know, he's, he, it's very worthy to him and he's not ready to share yet. Perhaps... Also, because he's an absolute beginner in this. Pages are uh, energies that are learning. Okay? Learning. So this is... Uh, this I, I, I want to say scarcity here. This scarcity is... Or this feeling of scarcity, feeling of being not enough, is what I feel here is the problem, is the challenge. And what's the answer to it? The answer to it is the Empress. And looking at the, at the rest of the reading, I think it's all about a feminine force, feminine energy, the energy of growth, the energy of uh, fertility, creativity, but also female uh, wisdom. Perhaps there is a female in your life that can help you with this. Perhaps there is a group of 
women that could help you with this. Their shared uh, experiences concerning opening your heart and being material and how how to how to uh, you know keep these things in equilibrium. Perhaps this is their knowledge you need to acquire. It also can be that it's uh, someone from your family, a female from your family, perhaps your mother, that is able to help you. But I feel women, woman, women is what I see here. What's your strength? Ten of coins, it goes very well with these, uh, this Empress energy, especially if we say it's a mother, because ten of coins is all about family. Or the system that supports you. That's why I was saying about the group of women. Uh, their shared experience. There are groups for women who can um, support you. I don't know why I uh, why I say this, but I feel this is mostly about women. This reading is mostly for women this time. But of course, if you are a male. And you feel it resonates with you. Keep on listening. I, I don't mind to exclude you from the reading. It's just, you know, focus on this. Because the reminder of the cards uh, is very special for me. And creates a special environment that I feel many women uh, know very well. So the turn of coins it can be your family. It can be your group of friends. It can be your uh, work environment. What's most important about this is that it is a system that supports you when you fall. It, in other words, it won't let you fall for good. It will always bring you back. And what's important is that you are also a part of it. So the system gets better as you get better. And it gets worse as you get worse. So the system cares about all the members of it. All the, those, those tiny dots that create the system. And this is your strength. So your strength is in being together with people. Your strength is in community of some kind. You should search for uh, advice and answers there. What to focus on? And here we have the clue for me. Five of Swords. Look at this picture. That's why I was talking it's mostly about women. Because too many times I've seen women treated like this and not quitting. It's important to quit this situation for many of you. It's important to quit it because once you start doing this, many more bad things happen. If you let them treat you like that, it, it doesn't necessarily mean you're a woman. The one who is listening now. But this really shows very well the humiliation of many of us. And the powerful overly powerful ego of many men who think that what they think is the most important thing and they are so vulnerable inside that they act upon their fears of being attacked uh, and of being defeated and that's why they strike first and they don't care what happened to you they don't care people like that don't care they think they win. It's not true because they lose you and they lose many other people, many other friends. And finally, they re lose respect towards themselves. But it only builds on more fear, more threat. So it's very important to put stop to it, whether it's going inside of you, because you can be this person. You can be the one who's so afraid that you decide to strike first. And to say, it's my way or highway. The win-win situation here in this card is absolutely impossible. Always one side loses and usually two sides lose. So for me, uh, if, you, if this reading is saying this is what you should focus on, take a deep look at your life. Do you act like this or do you agree to be treated like this? In both cases, stop. In both cases, try not to act upon your fear. Because fear is a very important tool, very important information in our life. But we should never let it drive us. 
we should never let it show us where to go. It's only, you know, a signpost, but we don't need to follow it. Absolutely not. If you're him, stop. Don't treat yourself so seriously. You're not that important. You're a part of the bigger thing. You're a part of the universe. You're the child of the stars. You're so much more than your ego. Stop it. If your hair quit don't let yourself be treated like this because what what it brings is only this especially for the person that is humili humiliated the lack the absence hunger cold inability to ask for help inability to receive help even if it's given false pride. Don't let yourself be put in this position. This is what really threatens you. It's so much better to be in this position than in this position. But to be in this position, you cannot let yourself Act like that or be treated like that. And that's the main lesson from this reading. And be kind to yourself. You don't need to know how to act for the first time. You don't need to understand everything. You may make mistakes, but don't make multiple mistakes. Don't let the lesson repeat over and over again. And I'm talking about this because this tower is also about ego. And here ego seems intact. Like you didn't learn anything from this lesson here. So perhaps the lesson needs to be repeated. But don't let yourself waste your time and energy for repeating the lesson over and over again. Okay, so that's the advice. Don't let yourself go to this position. In order not to let that happen, try to quit this energy. Okay? You're going to be okay. <laughs> I like this reading. It's very powerful, especially that we have the judgment card as the background energy. And the judgment is always about the ability to start anew, the gift of new life. But what comes first is judging. Not very severe. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't mean that you need to go to hell. I don't believe in hell personally. I believe there is um, redemption, redemption for everyone. Absolutely everyone. But what you need to do is to address issues and to really look them in the face and to really understand the cause and effect and forgive. Forgive others and forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made and go on. Then you survive. Not only you survive, you thrive. That's the reading for you. Uh, practice life. Perhaps you're absolute beginner now, but you won't be tomorrow. Dear Taurus, I wish you all the best for the reminder of uh, January. And I hope I see you soon in readings for New Moon and for the readings for February. So, all the best for you. Bye-bye.